The printer transfer roller is responsible for pulling toner from the OPC drum and onto the paper. The transfer roller places a positive charge on the back of the paper. This positive charge causes the negatively charged toner on the drum surface to be attracted to the page. So, the toner image on the drum is transferred to the paper. Cleaning the transfer roller can keep your printed documents clean and streak free. It's prudent to clean the transfer roller whenever you change the toner cartridge to keep used toner from building up. The transfer roller is a black spongy roller. It's located under the cartridge, near the OPC drum. It's about as long as a sheet of paper is wide. In the Brother printers, the transfer roller is inside the drum unit. Squealing or screeching noises may indicate that the transfer roller is broken or out of alignment. Press down on each side of the roller to test its fit. If you do not feel the roller spring back into place, check the retaining clips to see if they are broken. Frequent paper jams can also be a sign of issues with the transfer roller. Watch the location in the printer where the paper usually gets stuck. If the paper is jamming near the roller, reposition it. If the toner cartridge is full, a light printing could indicate a dirty transfer roller. Light print, or a side of the sheet too light may also indicate a positioning problem. The roller may be too far away from the paper, or toner cartridge, to produce an effective transfer. Streaks, or spots, on the rear side of the paper, are a sign of a dirty roller surface. Repeating spots, at the same distance of the circumference of the transfer roller, also indicate a defective roller. Power off the printer, and disconnect it from the wall outlet. Remove the toner cartridge. Wipe the roller with a soft dry cloth, that will not scratch the surface, or leave lint behind. If you do not know how to remove the roller, you can let it inside the printer. Rotate the roller by hands, using the drive gear on its end. Turn the roller until the entire surface is clean. Do not apply too much pressure, as the toner may saturate the foam. Don't touch the roller with your fingers, since your fingers contain oil, which can cause imperfections on the roller. You can lightly damp the cloth with water. Allow the roller to dry before you restart the print job. If you remove the roller, you can use compressed air to blow dust away. If the problem is not solved, the roller is defective and must be replaced.